Just last week, the Twitter business account announced a new beta available to all users. This is going to be a new keyword targeting campaign objective, which will essentially allow us to create search ads on Twitter. Now, there's already keyword targeting, and you probably already know this, but with the new beta, it's going to change how it works just for the specific campaign. So we're going to start the video going over the difference between the new objective and the current keyword targeting. Then we're going to go over a few requirements that are necessary to run the new keyword targeting campaign objective. And last, we'll walk through a full campaign setup. So let's start. The first question you may ask is how does this new keyword targeting objective differ from the current keyword targeting that we can already do within Twitter ads? And I'm going to explain the difference. So the current keyword targeting that everybody has right now within Twitter ads can use more than just the search function. The best example would be the contextual elements, the wording of specific tweets. Or if a user clicks on a trending topic within the what's happening section, for instance, the NCAA tournament, March Madness. In about a month and a half, that's going to be huge. A lot of people are going to be talking about it. So you would be able to use keyword targeting to try to get in front of users who are talking or interacting with those specific keywords in the moment. But it doesn't mean that they were necessarily searching for it. Now, the way this new campaign objective beta works is that keyword targeting only applies to when users are searching. This is why Twitter says this new campaign objective will focus on higher intent. Just like how we say Google search offers the highest intent because they're actively looking for something. So in the image example right here, since I'm a big nerd, company out there that sells Star Wars t-shirts, Lego, whatever. If I'm typing in Star Wars, they could get in front of me just because I typed in that specific keyword. Volume will definitely be lower than traditional keyword targeting, but we should expect at least more engagement and hopefully more conversion actions from this new campaign objective beta. Before we jump into Twitter ads, there's really just one mandatory requirement. I just mentioned that this campaign objective falls under the conversions column. So in order to run this new campaign type within Twitter, you either have to have the new Twitter pixel set up within your account with conversion set up, or you have to use the Twitter conversion API. This is a no brainer. Really can't use a conversion objective campaign if you're not tracking conversions. And that's really the only requirement because this beta is open to everybody. So now let's jump into Twitter ads and we'll show you how to set up this new campaign type. If you are new to Twitter ads, I do want to spend a little bit of time showing you where you can find the Twitter pixel. I have no problem admitting I don't touch APIs. So if you're more interested in Twitter's conversion API, you're going to have to look that up yourself. But to find the Twitter pixel, you would go up to tools and then head down to events manager. We already have the new Twitter pixel installed on our website, but if you haven't done it yet, there will be a step-by-step -step process on this screen that shows up first. You will be able to get the Twitter pixel. You want to manually install the code on your website or landing page. For us, it was just easy enough to do with Google Tag Manager. And then you can add your events. The main site visits events will automatically be created once you set up the new Twitter pixel. But then you can go ahead and add other events like we did with a form submission that's on our website. So this is the mandatory conversion action setup that you want to do before launching the search ad campaign within Twitter. So now you know where to go to start installing the Twitter pixel, create your conversion events, all that's done, let's head back to the home screen so we can start creating our campaign. Once you're back to the main reporting dashboard, head on over to the right and click on Create Campaign. And to get to the new beta, we want to click on Advanced. I'll say I always click on Advanced. I want more control. Go to Next. And there we see the new beta, which lives under the Conversion Category column. We want the campaign objective of Keywords. Once that's set, we can click Next. Next, we'll want to go up and name our campaign. It's up to you if you want to use campaign budget optimization. For this demo, I'm just going to create one ad group so it doesn't matter anyway. I'm good with the campaign budget. And then you'll get to choose the pacing of the campaign. Standard is the recommended option. It's going to try to use your budget efficiently all throughout the same day. Accelerated, which I'm not going to choose, will try to use the budget as fast as possible. In this case, when someone searches for the keyword that you are targeting, your ads could show up, depending on competition, as much as possible until your daily budget is exhausted. I typically don't use accelerated unless I know my targeting options do not have a lot of volume. So I want to try to get in front of as many people as possible. So if you are trying to go after bigger keywords, March Madness, Super Bowl, standard is probably the choice. That compared to other keywords like our industry ones, paid media, Twitter ads, Reddit ads, definitely do not have as much search volume 
as a March Madness or Super Bowl. So if I find out I'm not spending my daily budget, I can always come back and change the pacing of my spend. But for now, I'm going to go to next. And they're already yelling at me because I don't have any keywords added, even though I haven't even gotten to that point. But thanks, Twitter. So go up and name your ad group. If you want to add an end date, like I said, something with March Madness has a specific end date. So that might be applicable to you, but I'm going to skip that for now. And here we get to the keyword targeting. You can see within the field that we can add up to 200 keywords. So give me some time to gather a bunch of keywords and I'll input them right in this field. Okay, I just pasted in a bunch of keywords, far from 200. Ideally, I would try to add as many as I could. That makes sense towards my campaign goals. But once you are done selecting the keywords that you would want to target to reach people within the search functionality, then you can move on to delivery. And once you're at delivery, you see that we can't change the goal because it did live within the conversions column when you're selecting the campaign objective. But then we need to choose our conversion event. And that's exactly why I wanted to show you where to set up your pixel and conversion events right when we started this demo. The main auto created site visitors event that Twitter creates cannot be used for this action. We already had a form submission goal or event created within this account already. If you want to use a new action that you haven't created yet, you can do it from the drop down. But we don't run Twitter ads for ourselves. I only have the one action created for the sake of our demos. So I'll just choose that one. And then we see we have a couple options for our bid strategy. The default option will be auto bid, which is what I will typically start off with. But if you don't prefer that option, you can look at target cost. Pretty much just trying to maintain an average for the cost per link click. Or you can look at maximum bid. What is the most you're willing to pay for each link click? But I'm going to go back up to auto bid. If you choose auto bid, it's going to default to paying by impression. You can switch it up to link click and we'll leave that up to you. But if you choose target cost and maximum bid, then your default pay by will be link click, not impressions. If you want to promote your app using keyword targeting, there's where you can choose your app, but we don't have one. So I got to just keep moving. So with the search ads function, we don't get to layer on many other targeting options because we really are just going after keywords. That's the whole point of this. However, we can choose gender, age, language, choose your location. They're defaulting to my country and then select the main device settings. That's it. So you're not going to be able to target specific keywords, but they have to have visited my website within the past 30 days. We don't see other audiences. We don't see the follower lookalikes. We can't add all the other events or interest type targeting. It is just keywords and then segment by your demographics. So after you choose what you want, you can click next and we can go to the ad creation. I'm not going to rename my ad. I'm just going to go down. Looking at creative types, it will default to media with photos and videos, or you can choose the newer collection type. Collection ads are pretty similar to carousel, except a collection ad cannot use videos, but they do get a larger hero image that you can use on the ad. For now, I'm just going to stick with the single media one, easy enough to do, and then I'll fill in the text and add my image. So give me some time to complete this ad. All right, I filled in all the elements. I also changed the preview to search since that's where these ads should appear. But there we see the main text for the ad right under our username. I added an image. There's the headline and then the website URL. Make sure to add any UTM parameters or other tracking elements you want directly to the website URL. But it's pretty much just those four elements. I'm not saying this is a good looking ad. I just wanted to get it done. If you want to create more, go ahead and copy ads. Come up with as many variants as you want. But then I can go and click next if I'm satisfied with all of my ad variants. We get the option to look at all of our settings, but if everything looks good, you can just launch the campaign. And then just like most of the other Twitter campaigns, we can review performance at the campaign, ad group, and ad levels. Feel free to go to your columns. You can change the columns to look at whatever you want. Most likely you want website conversions because it is a conversion objective campaign, or you can go down and customize the metrics to save a specific view that you want. But that's how easy it is to test out the new search ads functionality within Twitter. Twitter did say in their announcement that they're hoping to roll out more features for this campaign objective. But if you know your audience is on Twitter and you can find keywords that get a lot of engagement or activity on the platform, I would definitely consider testing this out. The intent really should get much more interaction than a standard keyword targeting focused campaign. This beta is so new, we haven't been able to test it out on clients yet, but we're definitely going to introduce it to them. So once you've had a chance to test out the new campaign objective yourself, let us know in the comments below how it's working for you. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, 
give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.